Peanut is the newest member of the Foral Species family. He is the baby of our rescue pigeons, Homer and Rexa. During this video, you will probably hear me referring to Peanut as a he in some cases. In fact, we actually don't know whether Peanut is a boy or a girl yet. Uh, it's just too early to tell at this point without genetic testing. This is Homer, and he was formerly a pigeon who was used for pigeon racing, uh, which we can tell because of the little bands that he has on his ankles. Um, these can actually be traced back to the owner of the pigeon who has been racing them. Homer was injured during one of his races. Uh, we believe he had a coracoid fracture. Um, it basically is part of the shoulder system for birds and it left him unable to fly more than just to get up onto a perch. Homer was found and brought into a wildlife rehabilitator who helped him get back to reasonably good health. but. Unfortunately, because of his inability to fly, the owner ended up abandoning him there at the hospital. We adopted Homer, uh, who at that point was pretty untrusting of humans, so it took a lot of work with him to get him to at least reasonably accept us. He still doesn't like being picked up and he's kind of a feisty boy, uh, but in general we think he's pretty well adjusted at this point. This is Rexa, and unlike Homer, who is a homing pigeon, uh, she's actually what's called a king pigeon. And the king pigeons were selectively bred to be meat birds. Uh, they're actually raised for the meat called squab. And because of this, they are very breast heavy, uh, so they really can't fly all that well or all that far. Having been domestically bred uh, and not really growing up learning how to do things on her own, Rexa seems to have escaped where she was being raised, but at that point got herself really into trouble. She was eventually found in someone's backyard, nearly starved to death, uh, and that's when we received uh, a call about her. Uh, from someone who was concerned that she seemed like she was in trouble. Homer was very excited when Rexa came and joined us. Pigeons are actually quite loving monogamous birds. They mate for life and once Homer saw Rexa he knew that he had found his mate. At this point, the two of them are basically inseparable. They're usually sitting together or walking around together, though every once in a while, we all need our personal space. So even then, uh, as close as they are, Rexa will sometimes want Homer to give her a little bit more space. Peanut showing up was rather a surprise. Rexa and Homer had been laying eggs for a couple of years, and they were never actually fertile eggs that hatched, so we were kind of surprised when we came across Peanut. Peanut was found relatively rejected. He was cold laying on the ground, not in the former nesting area. And we quickly put him on heat and gave some support and then Rexa and Homer started feeding and caring for him. As Peanut grew, we found that the leg on the right side was actually malformed and the knee joint for Peanut actually faces kind of in the wrong direction. Um, so he would never be able to stand up even. We are fairly used to working with non-releasable wild ambassadors and believe that every animal should be able to live out their differently abled life to the best of their ability. So we are working on designing and producing a wheelchair of sorts for Peanut to be able to move around. Uh, it's involving doing physical therapy on his one good leg to build up that strength that he hasn't been using and also 
getting him to understand how to move such an apparatus. Uh, we were fairly excited the other day when he moved it about three or four feet across the floor because uh, that was a first step in the process for him. We right now are kind of in the middle of a stay-at-home order due to the COVID-19 virus, and so finding supplies has been a challenge. Uh, we've been doing kind of a MacGyverism of scraps and pieces that we've had about to create the first prototypes of this chair for him. So as Peanut here grows and develops, we'll be finalizing, hopefully, his wheelchair. Of course, giving him lots of love and welcoming him here to the family, as well as he's been spending time hanging out with his actual biological family. We'd love if you'd subscribe to our channel so that you can see future updates on Peanut, as well as learn about our different ambassador animals and some of our education programming.